How's everybody doing? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Today we're going to talk about Article 240, Overcurrent Protection, and Article 310, Conductors for General Wiring. Now, specifically, this is going to be a, a direct uh, question and not concern, but more of a to let everybody know that there are a few things in the uh, table 310.15 B 16 that everybody should pay attention to when it comes to the smaller gauge wires for number 10s, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Let's jump into it. So if you're trying to size a wire and um, you know we're not doing any kind of correction factors for te uh, for temperatures uh, ambient temperature correction and we're just doing something simple it's a single circuit single phase and it's you know 40 amps or whatever the case may be you're gonna ge gear your attention to table 310.15 b16 and wherever you find the you know type of wire you're doing the conditions you're gonna reference the table what I want to make everybody aware of are these two asterisk marks and yes they do mean something and it's it's significant if you don't know the two asterisks down here refer to these down here now even though these tell you that the uh, overcurrent protection for these wires should be these ampacity so that they're what they're saying is the number 10 can give you at least uh, uh 40 amps right but this is telling you to reference ref, refer to 240.4 d for conductor overcurrent protection limitations this is a big one if you're not paying attention because by Chicago Electrical Code 2018 edition, you cannot surpass the overcome protection limitations of a number 10 or whichever one you're using if you're not referring to this um, section 240.4D. Um, if you haven't read this, we're going to jump into it now. And 240D. And I'm going to go back just so you know which I'm referring to. 240.4, which is the protection of conductors. Conductors other than flexible cords, flexible cables, and fixture wells shall be protected against overcurrent in accordance with their impacity specified in 310.15 unless permitted or required in 240.4A through G. So this is telling you, you got to read this whole thing, A through G. So we're going to go to the next page. Here's A, power loss hazard. B, overcurrent devices rated at 800 amps or less. C, overcurrent devices rated over 800 amps. D, small conductors. Now here's where those double asterisks happen for 18 gauge, 16 gauge, 14 12 and 10 so if we go back in over here really quick and we're going to reference 310.15 table double asterisks so we'll say number 10 number 10 says in the table 40 amps overcurrent protection so you can they're saying you can put at least 40 amps on that number 12 number 10 if you're using aluminum or copper clad aluminum, it's 25 amps. Straight copper, 30 amps. So if you read the small conductors, uh, D, unless specifically permitted in 240.4E or G, the overcurrent protection shall not exceed that required by D1 through D7 after after any correction factors for ambient temper 
and number of conductors have been applied. So that's right there. After any correction. I was telling you. You cannot surpass these. This is the, the overcurrent protection that you cannot use. So number 12 wires should not be on a 30 amp breaker. And uh, number 10 shouldn't be used on a 40 amp breaker. Um, I like pointing these stuff out because how the code books are worded, they're worded very well, but because they try to put so much information into one book and, you know, they're organizing stuff as best as they could. And then there's some things that not necessarily contradicts itself, but it has to be further explained in another article that's in more detailed. In this case, it's overcurrent protection, but then they also got to refer back to it and conductors for general wiring because they're talking about the, you know, certain things in here that reference other articles. So it's confusing. I always suggest read the book front to back. I read this book at least seven times and I still can't remember where everything is because it's just so much information. Uh, guys, any questions, comments, please click subscribe. Uh, more of these to come. Love doing code. Love answering code questions. Not a code expert. But I know the code book uh, well enough where I can probably answer any questions or point you in the right directions. Uh, once again, Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Thank you for watching.